Yet, even through Ramadan, even though Ramadan has begun, the killing, bombing, and bloodshed continue in Gaza. We recently entered the six months since the Hamas terror attacks in Israel and the catastrophic Israel onslaught in Gaza began. My strongest appeal today is to honor the spirit of Ramadan by silencing the guns and removing all obstacles to ensure the delivery of life-saving aid at the speed and massive scale required. At the same time, and in the Ramadan spirit of compassion, I call for the immediate release of all hostages. The eyes of the world are watching. The eyes of history are watching. We cannot look away. We must act to avoid more preventable death. We have witnessed months after months of civilian killing and destruction at a level that is unprecedented in all my years as Secretary General. Meanwhile, life-saving relief for Palestinians in Gaza is coming in trickles, if it comes at all. International humanitarian law lies in tatters, and the threatened Israeli assault on Rafah could plummet the people of Gaza into an even deeper circle of hell. For months, leaders have appealed for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire and the immediate release of all hostages. But the most compelling calls have come from the families of the victims of this war. I've never forget my meetings with them. And they have stood at this very podium and addressed you, united in remarkable courage and unfathomable pain. Israeli hostage families who shared their torment and anguish and pleaded for the immediate release of their loved ones. And Palestinian families who shared heart-wrenching testimonies of family members killed in Israeli bombardments and pleaded for an immediate ceasefire. 